We've been excited about all of the people from the Biden administration who have been resigning in protest of Biden's policies on Israel. And for those of you who are still in there, come on, join the crowd. You'll feel a lot better about yourself. We have Biden administration employees who are now resigning, have been resigning. The most recent was Stacey Gilbert. And so when you have people that you've chosen politically to come into your administration, and they say, no way, no more. We need to care about that because you have at least 25 people here that are American citizens that are saying, hey, we, we, we care about this. You know, and what we care about is the massacre of Palestinians. What we care about is that the Israelis just, they just have an open book to do whatever they want. They get more and more money every day. They get more and more weapons every day without looking at the actual cost of human lives not just in Palestine or in the Gaza Strip or even in the West Bank, but people here who love those Palestinians. It's not just officials of the administration who are resigning, it's also staff in Congress. You know, we're, we're in touch with a lot of staff in a lot of offices and many more are coming to the conclusion that they can't keep representing bosses who continue to have this support for Israel in the midst of unspeakable violence. So we are thankful to those staff members who are resigning. We're thankful to those staff members who are part of uh, congressional staff for a ceasefire. And we know, in fact, Anne, who resigned from the State Department, that there's going to be a lot more uh, in the coming days because people just can't stand mm -hmm. watching what's happening, knowing that the folks that they are representing are not just complicit, they're partners in this. Mm -hmm.